The Philadelphia Eagles OTAs are officially over, and after an eventful couple weeks, the Eagles will now not return to practice until training camp gets going later this summer, so now seems like a good time to look back on OTAs as we were really able to learn a lot from what happened, and specifically, there were multiple players that stood out and were able to shine during OTAs, and these guys should really get the fans excited. So in this video, we're going to take a look at 10 Eagles players that really stood out during OTAs, and we're not going to waste any time, so let's get straight into the video. So the first guy that I want to talk about is Quez Watkins, and this is a guy who really has something to prove heading into next season because, quite frankly, there's a lot of people that are really down on him following his disappointing play last season, most notably having some huge mistakes in big moments. One versus Washington, where he made a big catch on third down, but then stood up and fumbled the football and turned it over at a crucial time in the game, giving the Eagles their first loss of the season, and then another in the Super Bowl where he had a huge drop that probably cost the Eagles a touchdown at a crucial time in the game. So, then heading into the offseason, people were completely out on Watkins. They were saying he stinks, they were saying he doesn't want it, and a lot of people really wanted him traded, and there's been a lot of trade rumors this offseason involving Quez Watkins. And then the Eagles, of course, then went out and signed a guy in Alamde Zacchaeus, who's going to give Watkins some legit competition for the wide receiver three spot. And all of this has left a huge chip on Quez Watkins' shoulder, as he tweeted out on the very same day that the Eagles assigned Zacchaeus, I'm going to make y'all eat every word. And it seems like ever since then, Watkins has just went about his business in the offseason, working hard and trying to improve his game and make up for the mistakes that he made last year. And he's apparently looked fantastic in OTAs. He looks like he's added a little bit of muscle, according to some people, and apparently his routes also look a little bit more refined. But most importantly, Watkins has the right attitude and approach to every single day. And Nick Sirianni spoke about that and singled out Watkins as a huge standout at OTAs in his most recent press conference. I have no problem saying one, one guy out that I think Thinks just done a phenomenal job this offseason is Quez Watkins. I love his attitude of, and, I, and I've said this to him, and, and I have no problem saying it here, like, oh, you guys, some people some people around here, and it's not in this building. We got a ton of confidence in, here, in, in Quez Watkins, but uh, I kind of sense from him. He's never said this, but I kind of sense, oh, some people think I stink. Wait, wait. And that's how he's attacked every day. That's how he's attacked practices. And I really... Yeah, I really think that he, he looks really good, and uh, well, I'm excited about that. And Jalen Hurts also expressed confidence in Quez Watkins as well. I mean, he's been doing a really good job, and um, I have all the trust in him. And, um, you know, he, he he's hungry. He's hungry, and he's used everything as fuel. And um, I'm excited to see the show he puts on this year. I mean, it really seems to me like Quez Watkins is getting ready to have a bounce back here in 2023, and I just can't wait to see what he has in store, because I still truly believe that Watkins is a very talented player, he has the potential to come back and have a good year, and it sounds like he has the right mindset and approach to doing that, so I really expect him to come out here and prove all the doubters wrong. But now moving on to the next player, I want to talk about Devontae Smith, and a lot of the debate around Devontae Smith this offseason has been whether he's a top 10 wide receiver in the National Football League. I personally think think that he already is, but some don't necessarily agree with that. However, he definitely does as he made that bold claim on a podcast earlier this offseason, and now he's going to look to prove that statement this year. And it seems he's on the right track to do that, as he's apparently looked really impressive in OTAs from what we've seen. Now, some specific notes from the Eagles' final OTA practice show some impressive play from Devontae Smith. First, he beat undrafted rookie free agent corner Eli Ricks on a double move down the right sideline to score a touchdown, and then he ran a great drag route to draw the defense his attention and created some space for Quez Watkins, and overall a writer said that Devontae Smith looked spectacular at practice. And I mean, look, I get it, it's just OTAs, it's just one practice that I was talking about there, but it's hard not to get excited about Smith considering what we've already seen from him in his first two years in the league, and I still think that he hasn't gotten close to his ceiling yet, and I really think that there's a whole other level that he can reach. So it's good to hear him shining at practice. It's good that it sounds like he's continuing to progress and develop his game every single year so far that he's been in the league, and I just can't wait to see what he's able to do this season, and I definitely expect him to make another jump in his game. But speaking of players making major jumps in their game, we got to briefly talk about Jalen Hurts, as it sounds like Hurts is preparing to make a jump in his game this year as well. Now, we've already went into depth previously on this report in another video, so if you want to go check that one out after you watch this video, you can. But just to talk about it briefly here, there was a report that came out not too long ago saying that the Eagles expect Hurts to take another big step forward in his development this year, and Nick Sirianni expects him to make that jump as well, and when asked about it, he praised Jalen Hurts, his work ethic, his dedication to getting better, and he really believes that Hurts can make that jump this year. Jalen 
maybe the most coachable person I've ever been around in my life. I mean, he's just always looking to get better. He's so coachable, like he just keeps getting, he, and he just keeps getting better, and he keeps getting better, and he keeps getting better. And so I do, I see another another jump in, in everything um, that he's done. I mean, that's why we talk about with Jalen all the time. There's, there's, I don't know what his ceiling is because he just keeps getting better and he's gonna and he's gonna continue to do that. And so I've seen that same jump, just, uh, you know, the decision, you know, the, the speed in which he makes his decision, his accuracy of his throws, uh, I've really been, he's really had a good spring. And Hertz also talked about his approach to improving his game in his most recent interview. You know, my, my emphasis has been just making, turning my weaknesses and, and, and to my strengths. It's all about getting better. But I think the thing that um, kind of keeps me going is, is being my biggest critic. Now, if Jalen Hurts somehow manages to get better again, the NFL better watch out because he was already an MVP caliber player last year. He arguably could have won the award, and he also led the Eagles, obviously, to the Super Bowl and almost won it. So if he improves again, the sky is the limit for this Eagles team. And a big part of Hurts' potential improvement is going to be newly acquired running back DeAndre Swift. And again, we've talked more in depth about this earlier, but Swift was mentioned in that same report we just referenced about Hurts making a big jump as a potential big big reason for it, and this is because Swift provides a legitimate receiving threat out of the backfield for Hurts to get more easy completions, and Swift just adds a whole new element to the Eagles offense, and we've seen DeAndre Swift's receiving ability throughout OTAs, there's been some exciting clips surfacing of Jalen Hurts and Marcus Mariota throwing to him, and overall he's apparently just made a really good first impression with the Philadelphia Eagles in OTAs. And Nick Sirianni in this same press conference that we've referenced multiple other times in this video said that DeAndre Swift has impressed in the receiving game. You know, backs get a little bit more chance to shine when the pads come on, right? Uh, now they're still out there doing doing some things, and, and and Kenny and DeAndre have done a really nice job in the receiving area, and so is Boston. They they all have, but really Kenny and DeAndre have really have really have done a nice job there. And the other name that Sirianni mentioned in this clip is Kenneth Gainwell, and this is a guy who's looking to have a much bigger role in 2023 than he had in the first two years of his career. He said that here in this clip. I'm, I'm expecting a very high role. You know, uh, I'm just going to continue to, you know, improve my game, still on top of everything that I have done. Uh, but I'm expecting a high roll this year. And again, according to Sirianni, Gainwell has been really impressive so far in OTAs, specifically in the receiving game, and his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is going to be a huge factor in how much he plays this year. And I also just did a whole video talking about Kenneth Gainwell, DeAndre Swift, and the rest of the running back room more in depth. So again, if you want to check that video out after this one, you can. But so far, I've just been talking about the offensive players that have impressed during OTAs. I haven't even gotten to the other side of the ball yet. Now, real quick, before we continue on with the video, I just want to say, if you are enjoying this video and want to see others like it, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Around 80% of the people that watch these videos are not subscribed, and if you're an Eagles fan, you love content covering the Philadelphia Eagles, we do that year round. And if you don't want to miss other videos like this one coming in the future covering the Eagles, then you're going to want to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on those. I really think this is a win-win situation for the both of us. And now with that being said, let's get back into the video. So now switching over to the defense, I want to start with one guy who was very surprising and one of the stars of OTAs, and that was linebacker Chris Janelle and this is a guy who was an undrafted free agent out of Idaho that started his career with the Minnesota Vikings, but he found a role on special teams with the Eagles last year after he was called up from the practice squad versus the Titans, and then he was activated to the 53-man roster, and he pretty much stayed there throughout the rest of the season and the playoffs. And now after OTAs, it looks like Christian Ellis may actually have a chance to compete for a starting linebacker job because he was really impressive during OTAs. I mean, the first day that the media had access to OTAs, Ellis arguably had the play of the day as he picked off Marcus Mariota, and then on the last day of OTAs, which was the only other day the media had access to them, Christian Ellis showed out. He got first team reps with Nicholas Morrow not there, and he had a pick six on Jalen Hurts, and he also had a pass breakup as well during seven on seven. So obviously this is very impressive stuff from Christian Ellis, and many consider him to be the most impressive player out of any Philadelphia Eagle from the OTA period. And now heading into training camp, he may actually have a legitimate chance to compete with Nicholas Morrow to be the starting linebacker opposite of Nicobe Dean. Now, don't get me wrong, Nicholas Morrow is definitely still the favorite, but if he doesn't look good during training camp, Ellis could definitely swoop in and become the starter. But now, speaking of Nicobe Dean, he's also apparently looked really good throughout OTAs, and we've talked about Dean before, so I'll keep this quick, but he's taken his new role head on, and that new role is being the signal caller for the Eagles defense, as it was confirmed early on that he was wearing the green dot at practice. And really, everything I've heard about Nicobe Dean at OTAs has been positive, and 
and it seems the Eagles have a lot of confidence in him, as with the linebacker position in a period of transition, he's the one guy that we know is going to start even with him only going into his second year and not having played really at all in his rookie season. Now, Nicobe Dean was also listed in a recent article as one of the players most likely to break out in 2023, so obviously we have really high hopes for what Nicobe Dean can be this season. Just like we have really high hopes for his fellow Georgia Bulldog and second year player Jordan Davis, as he's apparently impressed at OTAs as well, and of course, as we've talked about before on this channel, he looks to be in a lot better shape than he was when he first came into the league, and he looks really slimmed down from the last time that we saw him, but he also looks to be a lot quicker than he was the last time we saw him, as there are several videos of him out there at OTAs that show off his quickness, and his get off off the line just looks a lot faster. Just everything we've really seen and heard so far about JD makes it sound like he's getting ready to have a breakout season. And then of course, we gotta end it off by talking about the Eagles' two first round picks. So let's start that off with Jalen Carter. I mean, just about everything that we heard about Carter during OTAs and pretty much all offseason has been really positive, whether it be his freakish athleticism or his insane strength, which obviously there was that story out there that Jalen Carter broke a blocking sled during rookie minicamp, which we don't really have any way of knowing if that's true or not, but either way, Everyone's been raving about Jalen Carter's insane strength. That's probably his best physical tool. Something else that's positive that we've heard is that his conditioning seems to be pretty good as of now. Obviously, one of the concerns with Carter was his dedication to staying in the best shape possible, especially after he showed up to his pro day really pretty out of shape and wasn't able to finish all the drills. Seems like that's not been a problem with the Eagles so far, so that's obviously a really good sign. And then you have Nolan Smith, who was impressed throughout the offseason and OTAs as well, and he's apparently just continued to progress and get better throughout the entire portion of the Eagles OTA period and we've had some clips come out of him doing drills that have gotten a lot of people really excited. I mean, both of these guys have really just continued to impress and excite fans throughout the entire offseason. And Nick Sirianni had nothing but positive things to say about them as well. Uh, I think you just see their athletic ability in, their dr in the drill work. You know, we're, we're doing a lot of seven on seven, not, not, not team drills, um, but they're getting a lot of individual work. And so you're seeing, you know, the things that we saw obviously on tape and of, of you know what they do well and the power their athletic ability their personalities right and um and so you know you're seeing that every day in drills and, and and so it's not the same type of measuring stick that you get for maybe a skill guy who's getting some team periods with the seven on seven but you're seeing the development in the in the skill uh and you're seeing their skill in the individual periods with coach rocker and coach uh and coach wash and of course, you absolutely love to hear this. And if you're an Eagles fan, you've probably loved hearing everything that I've talked about in this video up to this point. And I mean, everything that's really happened all offseason, whether it be free agency, the draft, or now OTAs, it generally has all been really positive. And it seems like the Eagles could be gearing up for another special season. And we're getting closer and closer to it by the day. Now, the next time we'll see the Eagles in action will be training camp, where I'm sure we'll hear plenty more about these players, as well as many others. So we're going to be making videos all the way up until the start of training camp. Of course, once it gets going, there will be videos covering that as well. And then, of course, when the season gets going, we'll be making videos. We don't stop making Eagles videos. We cover the Eagles year round here. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, you like this video and want to see others like it, make sure you drop a like first off to help support this video, and then subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any others like it coming in the future. And let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below what are your final takeaways from eagles otas and if you want to watch that video covering jalen hurts and his potential development you can go watch it right here and then if you want to watch the other video talking about the eagles running back room deandre swift kenneth gainwell and the others more in depth you can go watch it right here and now with all that being said that's pretty much all i got for this one guys so thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video